Hello everybody, I'm here to talk about uh, our latest in our PPE requirements for the office. So the biggest thing that's come down from the state is uh, uh, as far as our PPE requirements really end up being much simpler than we expected. It really just comes down to we have one real essential thing that we need to use in areas where we make aerosols and that is in our treatment room where we use our hand pieces and that's where aerosols get made. All the PPE that will be used for aerosol situations will be located in the doctor cave for now up on the shelf. That's where we'll have these things put together in case you need them. Um, each item really, to be honest, only has to be used, uh, can be used once for the entire day um, unless it becomes visibly soiled. So for example, if you have a mask, um, you can have the same mask all day long as long as it doesn't become physically soiled and need to be uh, replaced. So that is nice that we don't have to be taking them in on and off for every single patient um, and, and swapping them out. So let's talk about the PPE that we have. The first and most essential one is, of course, the mask. This is the one that has to be worn during aerosol procedures. Uh, we have the N95 masks that are available in the office, and they should be used, again, once for the entire day. All right? So we'll have those available. Then we have what we call our optionally available uh, PPE that if you as a staff member want to wear and have, you definitely can, uh, but they are optional at this time. Uh, the first would be any kind of hair covering. I brought one of my surgical caps. One of our lice bonnets works just as well. You're welcome to have that and wear that on your head during uh, aerosol procedures in the treatment room. Number two would be our lab jackets. We have those available as well if you'd like to have one of those and wear those during the procedure. And then finally, we have our face shields, um, which um, are not all put together, but what you can put one together and, uh, and then wear that during the procedure as well. So these are all the different things that we have available to you to wear in the office to protect yourself during anything that happens in an aerosolized procedure treatment room. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to talk to Dr. Honest or myself, and we'll be happy to explain further, all right? And uh, just want to again reiterate, any patient who comes and has any symptoms that has an emergency that we need to see, these things should be worn during those procedures as well. If we have someone who tests, um, you know, or I should say doesn't pass the uh, qualifications as they come after, but we still need to see them. So just want to make sure everyone's familiar with all these and knew where they were, and uh, good luck.